Dang, my first sit down <laughs> awesome, was always you and Jay. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. Every sit down we first come together, it would be us three, probably Fuzz sitting in, in, mm. in the room with us as well. And I saw what looked like what y'all were building together. You know what I'm saying? And I saw you in the front mm. going. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you need the, like, even with me, I need the, hey, you go handle that, the no man, the, the fuck that all, he's the asshole. Sometimes mm -hmm. you need that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I no, saw no, that you. You have to have you, Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I saw that there That's was like having no an army without a gun. How you going to win a war without a weapon? So you where, can't win a war being nice, bro. You can't take nothing being nice. No one gives you anything. Taking does not involve being so nice. Where are you and Jay-Z now when I, th I saw y'all building an empire that I thought was going to always be together? We have fundamental differences. Mm -hmm. I'm about making other people famous and rich and equal. That's what I wanted with Rockefeller. And mm -hmm. he wanted to be the boss and have people work for him for 25 years straight, which is what happened. So, you know, I actually feel sorry for my fallen angels because I've taught people to share. I've taught people to be equal, not to work for. You know, I can't work. I can't have my friends working for me. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do it. They got to be my equals. And that's what I believe in 100%. And everyone should be equal. It shouldn't be a king. Everyone mm -hmm. should be a king. Everyone should have their own kingdoms. I make kings. I don't make slaves. I don't want nobody dependent on me. When, pe when people yeah. get around me, I make them independent of me, as you notice. Wow. And if they want to stay around, they can. So what I've done is made everyone around me a king. Kanye's a king. Jay's a Say king. Uh, 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 Kevin Hart's a king. We Daniels. King, you know, right, what, yeah. you know what I'm saying? There, but all there you, the, go. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know what's politically correct here. But right. everyone that comes around me becomes a boss in their own right. I don't let them work for me. It's like, go fly, Pelican, fly. Now, if you fall out, the, you know, when you don't do the ideals I taught you and you take everything I teach you and you make it for yourself and then you got other people looking mm -hmm. up to you and just kissing your ass your whole life, that ain't me. You when is the last time you talk with Jay-Z? I don't want to talk about Jay-Z. No, come on, bro. dang. Why? Why? Because we're having you know, a full conversation. You know, you know why here. it's not fair? Because he doesn't talk about it. I hear and you. every time I talk about the situation, number one, this is what you know. No matter what, I feel he robbed me. Period. Okay. He, and no matter what, I'm always going to feel that way. So you're never going to, like, if somebody, if I hit somebody with some work and they run off, I forgive it. It don't bother me. But if you ask me about that person, I'm like, nah, he ran off. Right. So the way he goes about moves with my business, I'm not talking about nobody else's, but personally, the way he did me was dirty. The, the way he did Biggs was dirty. The way he did Rockefeller was dirty. So he went, told L.A. Reid, I want Rockefeller. I don't want Jay and Dame. I mean, Dame and Biggs down. And we was like, damn, out of left. And when I had the conversation, he said, yo, I want to look like a boss. I can't look like a boss around you. I thought that was dirty. The shit he did with, with Rockwear, that was dirty. When he said he wasn't going to be a part of it while I was selling it and devalued it. And then, you know, I stepped away from it because I needed to go do my own thing. Then all of a sudden they do a big deal like that. That was dirty. You know, they put me, I mean, that was dirty. It was dirty business. And that's how I feel. So anytime you ask me, I'm not salty for life. Right. But with him, yeah, I'm salty. That was whack. Uh -huh. and, and look, there's no more Rockefeller. It's just him. Where's Rockefeller? There's Jim. There's Kanye. And who else? Mm -hmm. Everyone works for them. And that's not what I saw. Everybody was supposed to be equal. And that's what yeah. I was doing. And when the, the, at the height of Rockefeller was when the plug got pulled. Interesting. But nobody says anything. So I'm always going to feel that way. If you ask me, I'm going to tell you, I don't have to be politically correct because I'm not in that world. Mm -hmm. So also, you know, I'm not worried about the repercussion or recourse of that business. Right. Why? We ain't in the same business. I got a television network. I'm, I haven't been in the same business as him since Rockefeller. We do different shit. I put up my own money, and I'm not talking about that man. I really yeah. don't want to because everyone says, oh, you hated this, that, and the third. Nah, but I hate the way he did business with me. Mm -hmm. That was wrong. And you can, and that's, you that's can't That's my personal say, business. Exactly. I could say, I could talk about my business. Y'all mm -hmm. could, see what y'all going to be doing, not y'all, but people other, y'all going to be judging my business now. Y'all going to be like, why are you reacting about that? Because it's not your business. You're not a boss. You never put up no money. You don't know how it feels to pay somebody and for them to run off. You don't know how it feels to do that because you never did it. You don't have nothing for somebody to take. Until you got somebody for the take, somebody to take, or you ever gave somebody something, don't ever tell me how to feel, how to react. But all I know is this. I don't make money off of nothing, Rockefeller, right now. I, nothing. I'm not doing none of that. Everything I'm doing is new. No one says I'm the executive producer of the number one show on the Wee Channel for the last five years. I got my own television network. I got my own streaming service. I got my own liquors. Poppington. Rachel Roy, which I got robbed for just a second ago, but we'll get to that. There's so many different things that I, no one talks about, yeah. and I wonder why. Because there's a narrative here. Because I always hear that, don't end up like Damon. Why? You're going to end up happy? Right. You're going to end up with your own? You're going to end up with your kids going to anything and doing anything they want? You know what I'm saying? My kids don't have to be in a certain class. I worked hard for that. And 
They will work, but they will be boss work. 